Hey, this is Josh and Brent, the Fabulous Beekman Boys. And you're watching My Long Island on Fios. It's fabulous, too. are very popular now thanks to Pirates of the Caribbean. And several years ago we decided to have this festival. We thought it would be a great um, addition to our family friendly events. You'll hear the, the cannons going off and you'll hear the black powder guns and it could be a little startling. But these guys, just like that, on cue, these guys are really great at interacting with the kids. Um, they come and they help us judge the costume contest. They take the kids on the treasure hunt. All of them have goodies in their pockets that they hand out to the kids. They have coins and the beaded necklaces. So they really interact with the kids when they're not performing. They walk the grounds, they talk to the kids, they pose for pictures. So these are friendly pirates. Well, we have uh, several different pirate encampment troops from all up and down the East Coast. So they actually do historical reenactments and shows for the kids. And then several of them actually take the kids on treasure hunts throughout the property and then they dig up the treasure down on the beach. So that's really fun. And then we have different, mu different musical acts um, on the main stage. And m many of them are sea shanty singers. Her eyes are shown like diamonds. You think she was queen of the land. And her hair hung over her shoulders. Tied up with a black velvet band. During the week it's a bit mundane because we, we work our regular jobs. <laughs> But on the weekends, we can transform ourselves into swashbuckling uh, buccaneers. I actually started as a solo pirate about 10 years ago. I was had, had so much fun that I decided I had, to, I had to start a crew. I'm a member of the Atlantic uh, Academy of Fencing in uh, New Jersey. Uh, I've been a member for several years now. My fight partner is certified in, uh, in stage combat in several disciplines. And uh, between, uh, between the two disciplines, it seems to work quite well. My name is Captain James Bartholomew Hawk. In pirate world, uh, captains are actually elected to their posts. It's, uh, piracy was the first true democracy in the new world. Captains were elected to their crew, quartermasters were elected to their crew, into their positions as well. And I could be deposed if I did not do well in my position. Well, our show uh, is not necessarily about education. We do a few Abbott and Costello rewriting routines. However, we do do lectures at libraries where we all are fairly good historians on the subject of piracy, buccaneers, privateers. Oh, we use a variety of weapons. Uh, a couple of ours are uh, flintlock pistols, we have a musket, and uh, as you can see uh, around me, we have a few cannon. And our cannon, that's a half-scale six-pounder that we had just fired a few minutes ago, and uh, we acquired that just this year, as a matter of fact. Uh, the cannon's name, by the way, is Steve. <laughs> The optimal way of finding treasure is usually to follow the individual when he's burying it so you know where it is. So you don't have to look for a map. But you find somebody with big pockets that are bulging out and you start walking, you follow him along. Sooner or later he's going to drop his pants. It all depends on how, much of a, how large of a sword or a pistol you put in front of him. Well, see, pirates didn't bury treasure. They did dig it up. In other words, they would go to some, they, they would attack a town or, or a plantation and the people would see them coming, so they'd quickly run out and bury their treasure. Well, the pirates would convince you to tell them where the treasure was so they could go dig it up for you. No, please. <laughs> pirates only had really two penalties. Very little whipping on a pirate ship because these men had suffered under crews where, when they were merchantmen who got whipped. So they only had two punishments. One is marooning. They put you on a spit of land just above sea level. Unless you weren't too bad, then they might put you on an island, give you a gun, powder, and some accoutrements to live with. Either that, if you, if you stole so much as one cent above a pound, you die. This year, I think, um, we've actually grown the event, so we have uh, more corporate sponsors, and we have more pirate troops, and we have more vendors and we've actually um, gotten some really great press coverage for the event as well and we have more people so the word's getting out so it's it's become a really popular event <laughs>